Let's get into this video and start off with my favorite of this cluster of renders, which is this one here from Arnold Designs. I will leave a link to their Instagram page down below if you want to head on over and check them out. I really like this render a lot, it's very aggressive and intimidating looking, and there are so many cool features about this car. The first being the C8R front end with the same LED lights integrated into the front air dam. The way that splitter is fitted with the carbon fiber canards coming off the sides there gives a very mean look to it. The hood has a really cool design as well and would most likely be functional increasing the overall downforce of the car. Coming over to the fenders you have these louvers here which just add to the aggressiveness. But something we have not seen before are these really cool looking carbon fiber fins coming off the front end of the side skirts. I really like the way they are staggered and gives it something a little extra that we have yet to see. This render seems to have something changed on literally every panel of the car. Now obviously these things would not make it to a production vehicle for the Z06, but it's really cool to see just how aggressive these things can look when fitted with a possible aftermarket product sometime in the near future. Coming around to the back of the car you have the roof scoop which many of you know I'm a huge fan of that idea and this one is probably the best design yet as it would not interfere with the removal of the roof panel. The massive rear wing that is fixed to the rear deck lid is also a really cool design. The only downfall with the wing and the roof scoop on the back here would be the inability to see that beautiful engine underneath. They serve a purpose but take away from seeing through the window to that engine bay. The rear bumper is changed up a bit too with some added ventilation towards the sides and I think it flows really well with the rest of the design. Overall, Arnold Designs killed it with this render. This next one here has some really nice design elements to it. The front hood is a nice design because it flows smoothly with the rest of the car and is not too aggressive or over the top while still remaining functional. But the biggest changes here are at the sides of the car. The front fender vents are an interesting design. I can't really decide if I like it or not. It definitely adds an element to the car, I'm just not sure if it makes it better. What I do like is the rear vent design. This has that staggered design again that we saw in the previous render and I like that a lot. Actually that render mixed with this one would be really cool to see. The back end of the sides here look almost like it's two air vents in one and makes the car look a heck of a lot wider than the standard Stingray model. I'm also not a big fan of the rear spoiler. This one looks pretty similar to the C7Z06 rear spoiler, and although it looks fantastic on that car, it doesn't go too well here with the rest of the design. This one here is more of a realistic approach. It doesn't have all of those wide body elements to it, but it does still have a different front hood design, which we have seen before and I do like. The best part of this render is the fender louvers and also these little vents here that are integrated into the front bumper. We haven't really seen anything like that yet, so it's pretty cool to see. Overall, a very nice and clean render. Oh, and by the way, you guys, a lot of these renders I've seen on Corvette Fan's Instagram page. So I'll leave a link to their Instagram down below in the description of this video if you want to head on over and check them out. They have some pretty cool posts on there. This one is pretty ridiculous, but I just had to share it with you guys. This is showing that almost Pagani-style look to that open clamshell design, and I think it looks really cool, especially with all that exposed carbon fiber and suspension elements showing. Who knows, maybe for the top-end Zora model we will see something like this to show off that crazy 1,000 horsepower engine. I doubt it, but hey, you never know. Also, gotta point out that roof scoop. Such a cool side shot of this design. This one here has some nice elements to it. I like the carbon bits on the back end here and the different diffuser. I actually like this diffuser a lot and it makes the exhaust look a lot better here as well. I'm not a big fan of the stock exhaust tips on the Stingray models, but the way they are integrated here in the diffuser looks so much better. It's also really cool how they integrated those fans right in here in the center behind the mesh inserts. Not a bad design overall and a cool addition to those wide body lines. And speaking of wide body, check out the stance on this render. This rear shot of the back end of this car makes the car look incredibly wide. This wide body design makes this thing look absolutely massive and it's really cool to see. If you notice right here just at the top, on either side you can see the top exit exhaust coming out, which is something we have not yet seen before. I can picture this car spitting massive flames out of that exhaust and probably sounds ridiculous as well. Hopefully someone out there is crazy enough to do this build because that would be a sight to see. This one here I had in my previous video mainly showing off the rear spoiler and I finally found some other angles to it to show you guys. At first I didn't like it but looking at these other angles I think it might be growing on me. It really does change the overall look of the car. What do you guys think?
Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Once again, don't forget to head on over to the poster giveaway video. You can find that link right down in the description below for all the details to enter. It's absolutely free and I'll be shipping out a poster to two different subscribers. I'll be announcing the winners on Tuesday, April 28th, so don't miss out on that video. As always, thank you so much for all your support and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.